Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk to you about building a quotes library in SharePoint. As you see, I've created a new document library app and I've added three quotes there. As you also see, I have the uninspiring names quote one, two, and three here. And then I have the default columns modified and modified by. Of course, I could have made more interesting file names here, but instead I'm going to use columns. And I think that is a much more powerful way of doing it. So I'm going to create a new column here and call that quote date. That is the date when the quote should be or submitted. Then I'm going to go into my library settings and look at what options are available for that column. As you see, I can require that this column contains information. I can enforce unique values and uh, I can do some column validation. I can also control the display format if it should be standard or friendly. Friendly would mean, some, mean something like three days from now or three days ago or something like that. You can also create new columns from inside here from the library settings by clicking down here, create column. So I'm going to create the other column there. That is the decision date, which is, of course, also a date and time column. I'm just going to keep the defaults here and click OK. Now, if I go back here, I'll see that these three documents now neither have a quote date nor a decision date. The quick way to edit this information is to go into quick edit mode. And then you can, of course, go in and just fill it in the data there. So just fill in like that. And as if it's the same, then you can do this to like quickly fill in the information like that. All right. So now we have tagged all the, the files here with some extra data, the quote date and the decision date. I'm going to add another column with um, the value of the quote, and make that a currency. And usually that number is not applicable to have any decimals in there. I'm not going to submit any quotes with decimal value. So there, there's my value um, column also. I can go into quick edit and fill that in. Now in the view settings for this view, I go in and modify the view, edit current view. You will see that at the bottom here, there are a lot of options for views. One of them is totals, and that's, of course, very interesting to have for a, a value of a quote. So let's do a sum there and just press OK. And as you see, that doesn't actually apply because now we're in the new experience. But if I go back to the classic SharePoint experience, and look there, there you actually have the, the numbers. So I get the sum there also. And the choice whether you should use the old or the new experience, that's a difficult one because there are some features that only apply in um, the new experience and some that apply in the old one. So it, it's uh, difficult. The sum total here, or the total in general of views is only exists in the classic experience. It's easy to switch between the new experience to the classic experience, but the only way to switch back is to close the browser and open it again. So now I'm logged back in again. Now if I go into SharePoint here, uh, you'll notice that again I am in the new experience if I go into the quotes library. So what we've done in this demo is that we have created uh, three new columns and added them to the default view here in um, my quotes library. Thank you for watching this demonstration.